Synergy here, it's been a long time but I am back to uploading for you and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be bringing you some Destiny content. As you can see on my screen I've used a heavy ammo sim of which I was expecting to get 7 rockets but I didn't end up getting the 7 rockets at all. So that is some of the bugs that you will find in Destiny, it's pretty damn annoying especially when you're spending your strange coins on them. Um, if you've got nothing else to spend the strange coins on, you can spend them on the heavy ammo packs, vehicle upgrades, etc. But what we're going to do for you today, guys, is we're just going to talk you through a little tutorial, and this is going to be how to solo Fulgoth in the weekly Nightfall Strike. I'll be bringing you all sorts of weekly Nightfall tutorials as well. Now, Fulgoth um, this week is basically art damage. But what you'll find in most of the weekly nightfalls is it's increased melee. So what we're going to do here is we're going to give you a demonstration of both sides of this as well. And I'm also going to show you the sort of damage that the witches will do. So that's the sort of damage that the knight does. Just to give you an example, that's a third of me health. Well, two thirds. Okay, now we're going to show you exactly how this witch hurts. Right up. There we go. So the witch can take you down pretty damn easy. Now, when you're at this door and at this place, it doesn't actually matter if you die because you can respawn at this point. It's once you get past this point that you're unable to respawn. Now, what I am actually using is the Purifier V7 from New Monarchy, and that's a fusion rifle. It's got a 30 mag when you pick up all your ammo. And it's going to take out things like your wizards, your knights, anything with a shield on it, especially with it being art damage. Now just to show you the melee side right here, there we go. You can see I just tried to punch him and he punches me down to a minuscule of health. So the melee is actually more powerful than their actual shooting abilities, if you may. Right, so just don't get too close to things and don't let them melee you. Yeah, simple as that. Now the first part's a little bit tricky because what you're going to get is you're going to get Thrall coming from two different ways and you're also going to get Curse Thralls. So you can see the cooldown on my heavy ammo synthesis at the moment. So we're actually not going to worry about that cooldown, we're just checking that because what we want to do, rather than have to wait for too long and just keep using the purifier on the witches bit by bit, we actually want to just take these wizards down with seven rockets and just completely slap them up, maybe even have some rockets left over. So as you can see, the Thrall is coming towards us now, you're going to get Curse Thrall. Now, you do need to back off a little bit because if they do melee you, yeah, you're pretty much dead in one shot, so be careful of that, guys. <clears throat> now, what I'm doing here is I'm switching back to my fusion rifle because we were going to have some knights that come at us. You can see a yellow knight there. It's not really a problem for us. You can see they're going to start shooting, so they will do damage. doesn't matter. Just be careful, don't be overly eager to just run in there because you will get hit down and you will get hit down hard. Okay, so there's one knight left I believe. No there's not. Correct me mistaken, there was two. Right, so that's the first wave guys. So what's going to happen now is there's going to be a load just drop down in the corner diagonally to your left. So just bring out your normal gun, spray into them for the minute. Obviously I'm a warlock at the minute, so your super abilities may vary. For example, the hunter with the golden gun. I highly suggest a hunter never use his blade dancer when in a nightfall. Um, uh, I should imagine if anything melee'd you, you'd probably get taken out of your blade dancer. And yeah, you'd probably get knocked down for that. Now these things, you want to be careful because the Acolytes, they're not as weak as what you think. Some of them will do less damage to you with the guns, others will have an art gun and that will do a lot more damage to you when you get hit by them. You can see the witch just up there at the moment, I didn't actually notice that one. So what I'm going to do, try and get it there, but unfortunately my fusion rifle didn't reach far enough. So we're just hanging back, we're going to take out the Acolyte, we can see the witches come down to the left hand side guys, 
So it's just one of those, don't stand directly in the fire of the witches. Now this is just to show your warlock super, and you can see shield almost down and shield halfway down. So it doesn't do too much the supers, you can use that on the shitty little enemies. Right, so we're moving on, we're going to take this acolyte which is pretty annoying because it just keeps going behind the post and I know I've got two knights here, now the knights they aren't really a problem because the melee type knights these ones and all you need to do is just slap them down like so and you can see another knight there but he's not got a gun so he's not a problem Right, so we are on runes decoded 2 or 3, you can see my cooldown ready to use now and it's finally give me my rockets which is just in the nick of time as well. Now with this part guys, what you want to do is you do want to take down these little lads just one by one. Don't get overly eager in it, that's your main thing in your nightfall, because bearing in mind if you get overly eager, you run in there and you die, you go straight back to orbit and you have to do it all again. Um, let's put it this way, most of us can't be arsed with this. Now the good thing about this as well is, for example, if one person does this, it doesn't take long to get to the end. And what you can do there is you can actually invite your fire team in to other people that do need it. They will literally love you for doing it, but um, it's just one of those things. So they can actually continue farming, for example, and you can do it. And likewise, next time they can do it, and then you can join. So that's a good idea as well for you guys. Alright, so you can see we got Curse Thralls and we got Normal Thralls as well. So we're just going to take out those Curse Thralls. As everybody knows, they do explode it. Yeah, you can see a heavy ammo pack on the floor, which is good for me. We're just going to take them out one by one. Cause what we don't want to do is we don't want to rush up, because bearing in mind, this is the part where the three witches come. Where's the little ammo on him? Now, this is a bit of a longer video for you guys. It's 16 minutes, 54 seconds, but if you bear with me, the reason it's actually a long video is because I'm showing you how to solo the Nightfall on Arc Damage with Fogoth. And I'm basically going to show you absolutely everything. I'm not cutting anything out. I'm going to show you from beginning to end. So that's the good thing, guys. You can see exactly what I do everywhere I do it. So you can see all those witches. They're not even getting close to me. And the rockets are taking them out. Now, what I have, it may be different for a few of you. I have a fully upgraded Galahorn. And what it does is it actually tracks its targets as well as placing proximity mines. Now... For example, if you are one of these who doesn't have it upgraded, uh, but you do have a decent rocket launcher, even say a machine gun, what you'd need to do ideally is you'd need to run back to the top of the stairs, wait for the witches to come in one by one, head glitch, and then shoot. And you're going to have to take them down over time. Alternatively, you can actually use the fusion rifle to take down the shield. You can try and get two shots on them, but just don't be overly eager on it. And like I said, be careful of anything that can melee you. Right, so now all you want to do is just pick up your random ammo, have a look for any drops. Now, the only annoying thing since the actual patch, guys, is the amount of legendary drops has dramatically decreased. I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one that's noticed that at the moment. I was just uh, reading a message on my phone there, that's why I stopped for a minute. So... We are going to continue, so we're moving into the next room. What you're going to have is you're going to have a few little shitty ads, like so. We're going to place something like that, like a grenade towards them, which is going to seek as a warlock, yeah, but uh, as your normal classes, you'll be able to take them out differently. It's pretty easy anyway. You can see a curse for all yellow. Now, the good thing about the Hallowed Thralls and the Cursed Thralls is when you take them out, they explode and they take anything out around them, so it's like an AoE damage effect. So right now we've got a, a Knight, and we've also got an Ogre. So you can see the Ogre's arms, one, two, two shots. Now you can see the Knight's arms, 
Okay, the knight's nearly down. He's got a shot off on me. No, he's not. And there you go. The knight's pretty much taken down. So, what was that? Three shots, four shots, give or take. And obviously, at each part, I just do a little dance to show it's uh, completed. Well, showing off, really. <laughs> Okay, so we're moving on, and um, we're going to come down here. Now, it's just like the strikers, um, you'd either get a witch or a knight. And what you want to do is just fire one of your rockets. Or you can use your super, like I'm doing right now. Boom. Okay, that didn't do any damage, so just to pre-warn you, the supers aren't as effective as your rockets and your other weapons. What I'll do in the Nightfalls as well is on the Septic's Prime Nightfall, I'm going to show you as a Warlock how you can one-shot the Fallen Walker as well. Um, that is actually up on my profile, so if you actually add me to the Xbox One guys and you just follow my profile, you'll be able to see little clips that I randomly make just with the Xbox Record there, if you're interested in seeing that. Uh, got some pretty cool clips and it's just fun, real. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm not pushing forward because as you know there's a doorway to the left hand side and if I get meleeed I'm absolutely screwed. There we go, you don't want these running at you and meleeing you. Okay, so we're pretty safe here at the minute. I'm just going to check for any ads that are left. There we go. Now what's going to happen is there's going to be a ship to the right hand side. What I normally do here is rather than just take the knights to begin with, I just have a look and see if there's a witch over there. <clears throat> because if there is a witch over there, it can actually shoot you from the range, which I've found on a few occasions. Okay, so you can see the witch has been taken out, and I'm pretty good for rockets. So we've got four rockets to take these things down. There's one, and we're going to place the second one on the other one. Now we've got two more rockets. We actually missed that rocket, but it does end up taking out with the proximity mines. I'm just going to use that to lower it out. We're going to be dodging, dodging, and boom. There we go. That should take out the second one. Okay, so they're both down. <clears throat> Don't prematurely gun it, because their guns actually can pretty much hurt you pretty fast. Um, we're going to do a little dance in a second. There we go. And we are actually on the end part, which is Fogoth himself. So I'm actually going to use another heavy ammo synth just to release Fogoth. <clears throat> You'll have to forgive me, my mouth's getting a little bit dry because I've been commentating a hell of a lot. Right, so we're just going to waste these rockets here, waste the super as well. And we're just going to be careful here because what can happen is the ads can come around the corner. That's what you want to be careful of. You're going to get a streaker that spawns behind you. Now, as you can see, my arc weapon is actually doing quite good damage to it. The streaker's hitting me. Now, the good thing about it being on solo, guys, if you are doing it solo, the boss will be a little less health than what it would be with three players, so you don't have to sit there for donkeys. Okay. So you can see I actually took that wizard out, but you don't need to take him out because they do disappear. And um, we're just going to take out the knight. We're going to be careful of that doorway. You can see a bit of splash damage coming in there. Now what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take those out that are on the balcony. Because if they stay there, it's not going to be good. As you can see, we'll get a lot of splash damage. So do take those out, guys. Otherwise, they can mess everything up for you. Right, Shrieker's back, so we're just going to move back and we're not going to challenge that one. Shrieker really doesn't do much damage, as you can see, but if you just let it keep shooting, yeah, or you're AFK, it will take you down eventually. And you can see both witches here, they don't attack yet, so don't worry about that. Sometimes they can attack yet, so be careful of that. And there you go, we've just got heavy ammo drop as well, so we've got a full seven rockets to actually use. 
Just making sure there's no ads that are going to get in the way of my rockets. We're going to throw another rocket in there. We're going to move back while the streak is there. As you can see, the wizard. If the wizard does attack, yeah, just straight to your left. It's not a worry. You see how the wizard attacked me there? Okay. Well, that's just an AOE grenade. That'll give me an idea of where the ads actually are. And you can see we're going to use some more rockets. As many as we can. Just because the rockets do do a lot of AOE damage as well. You can see it there on the screen. Right, so there's all my rockets down. And what I've got now is I've got my arc weapon to finish it off. Now it's going to take increased arc damage, so yes, this will actually take off quite a lot of health on the boss. And it won't take that long for you guys. So there we go, wizard down again. And we get to move forward. Always be careful of the ads in the doorway, guys. They can show up from nowhere sometimes. It can be free nights at one point. If it's free nights, you need to take those out, unfortunately. And we're just going to finish Vogue off there. And that is practically the end of it so there we go that's how to solo the nightfall for you guys now I've done this video to make it for you even though I'm obviously gonna get no rewards from doing this and just to prove it as well mission complete weekly nightfall strike mission end 25 seconds you can see the weapons that I was using the Aphian's epilogue the purifier which is the weapon that is definitely needed and obviously if you've got different type of art weapons they will do as well they'll do exactly the same job that my fusion rifle was doing now obviously i do have about eight vex mipper class weapons at the minute guys and to be honest i'm i'm a little bit overstocked on them and it took me so long to get me gloves just to get to level 30. don't forget to like comment subscribe peace out